You are watching All Things Real Estate and More, with Ann Riley Caldwell. With a brand new episode on, Home Insurance vs. Title Insurance. Hey, I'm Ann Riley Caldwell. I'm a realtor here in the Nashville, Middle Tennessee area. And today we are talking to Anna Rowland from Signature Title. So thanks yeah, for being here. Of course, I'm happy to be here. Awesome. So I represent buyers and sellers. Mm -hmm. And one of the things that I get all the time is, is title insurance the same thing as home insurance? <laughs> so let's kind of start with that one. Why don't you tell us what title insurance really is? Yeah, so that's a very good question. We get that question a lot as well. Um, so homeowners insurance, as most of you know, is probably, it, is more so um, for like hazard purposes with your home. If something were to happen, a tree fall through your house, a storm hit, anything like that. Um, and that is insurance from the day you purchase going forward. Title insurance is um, kind of like hazard for your title to your property. And that insurance is the day you purchase going backward. So we're essentially ensuring that the day that you receive that property, that you receive it free and clear of any lien or encumbrances with the exception of any mortgage you might take out or something that you're aware of. Um, so, it, but it protects you for the life of your ownership of that property and that policy. Um, and, and it's, like I said, it's, it's a good policy. It's very thorough uh, to cover you from a myriad of, of events that could happen. And so that kind of leads us to a lot of times I ask the question of buyers and sellers, who do you want your title company to be? Mm -hmm. And I get this blank look like, mm -hmm. I don't know what that what is. is. Company, right? yeah. <laughs> so title insurance is important to have and we'll come back to talk about that a little bit more too. But what is, so what is a title company? Yeah, so a title company, uh, we handle all the paperwork behind the scenes. Uh, we're, you'll also hear the term escrow thrown out a lot. We handle all the money as well. Um, so we get the contract from the agent or buyer or seller if it's for sale by owner. Um, and we handle the title search, the preparation of documents, um, the settling of all the funds, the signing and notarizing of all the documents, as well as the recording and post-closing of any issues as well. Okay, awesome. Yeah. Um, so then um, on the buyer side, can you be a little bit more specific about what buyers sure. you're doing to represent the buyer? Yeah, so a buyer's transaction and a seller's transaction is going to be very different. Um, with a buyer, oftentimes we're working with a lender. So in the event that they receive financing, we have a whole layer that we have uh, where we're working with that lender to ensure that lender as well. So it's kind of back on title insurance. It all kind of evolves around that. but. Um, we will do what's called a lender's policy to protect them as well. And um, in that process, they will have documents and requirements that we'll have to meet um, for their specific loan or loan type. Um, so we work hand in hand with a lender on, on that side of things. Um, and obviously we work with the buyer as well. We get a lot of first time buyers. So there's a little bit more hand holding in that, mm -hmm. just helping them to understand the process as well as what their loan is, even though we're not the lender, um, what their loan type is, uh, as well as like an escrow account, kind of what that means for them. Um, and just going forward, kind of what the money side can look like for home ownership. Okay. Awesome. Uh, so for a seller, how does that look different from a title company perspective? Yeah, so a seller side's so going to be a little different. Obviously, they're not getting a loan, but they may already have a loan. So, um, in that event, we we once we get our title search back, we see what is on title that needs to be taken care of. And when I say what's on title, that's typically a mortgage or two or more. You know, just depending on what's there, um, we will obtain payoffs on those. Um, delinquent taxes, we'll, we'll get um, statements on those to pay those off. There could be a homeowners association that could have dues, transfers, paperwork, that kind of thing. Um, we'll take care of anything like that. Um, also, on whether it's a buyer side or seller side, it's typically more so on a seller side. Um, there could be a divorce, there could be um, an estate, a lot of different mm -hmm. things that we have to dive into. Sometimes there's a split title company, so the buyer yes. might be represented by one title company and the seller by another. Yes. So tell us a little bit about how that kind of works. Yeah. So in Tennessee, it's pretty often that um, we would we do what call we call a split closing, um, meaning that the buyers would work with one title company and sellers work with another. So um, the process is is the same. You just do whichever section of the work um, you would be appointed to. All right. So that kind of wraps up our intro to 
title insurance and title companies. And then uh, we'll be back with Anna to talk about some other topics. We hope you enjoyed watching All Things Real Estate and more with Ann Riley Caldwell. To learn more about Ann Riley or for your real estate needs, visit notyourordinaryagent.com or call 615-930-0313. Thanks for watching.